You know, I once spoke to Walsh Mengwe uh, in an interview, and Walsh Mengwe was saying that, um, you know, opposition political parties um, have uh, what it takes to win power, to win state power. But one thing that people have to realize is on that path to winning state power, we must understand that we are not in a democracy and we should therefore not act as if we are in a democracy. Now, if you're going to look at people who are demanding that the CCC should have a Congress, they are not even members of the CCC. They are not even people who support the CCC, who have been putting their money into the CCC so that it can be able to do whatever it is achieving. They are people from the ruling ZANU-PF. And those from the ruling ZANU-PF, in their own constitution, they only put one position up for ele election, which is that of the first secretary of the president. Everyone else is appointed by the president who will then be elected. So the second secretary uh, is appointed by the president. Everyone in the Politburo is appointed by the president. The only elections that you see in ZANU-PF Congress are for the wings, that is the youth wing and the women's wing. But the, the main uh, political aspect is appointed by the president. Then you then go for you to see that these are issues, these are funny, funny issues. The, the call for CCC to have a Congress is nothing rooted in wanting the party to be democratic. Why do I say this? The MDCT, which was left by Morgan Changirai, last year did Congress in 2014. There is a constitution that says after every five years, they should go for Congress. They've never gone for Congress. No one is talking about them. No one is asking. Basically because they don't care about the strategy of the MDCT because uh, these elections showed them that the MDCT is not a major player. So they want the strategy of an opposition political party so that they can deal with it. So the moment, for instance, if they go to a Congress, the moment they go for a Congress, there are a lot of things that are going to be raised. You can even see court challenges. You can, you can I, I bet you, last dollar, someone is going, will come up with a court challenge and start challenging their course, Congress and stuff like that. And already you are less than a year towards, uh, towards elections and you've got to be funding, going to court, you then also have to be defending yourself, also looking for funds um, to go to, to elections. The chief thing that you need, that people need to appreciate is, um, is um, um, Tawona, Tawona said, you know, uh, a political party, and this is in our constitution, is a voluntary organization. What does a voluntary organization entail? It entails that you join it if you want, if you don't want, you leave it and you go and support another. This is just basically what a voluntary organization means. So in the absence of a constitution like Tawona says, what measurement do those people who are calling for it to go to Congress, what measurement are they holding it toward? Because you must have an instrument that says you're supposed to go for Congress because your own constitution says you must go for Congress because you are a voluntary organization. Now, the people who believe that the triple C is being undemocratic by not going to Congress, by not going to, by, by not holding Congress, which Congress they don't even know uh, whether the provisions of the triple C provides for a Congress. There's, there's, there's nothing like that. So how do you then ask them? Go ahead, I thought you had finished. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay, so th there's, there's nothing that, there's no instrument whatsoever that provides for, for, for the triple C uh, to go for Congress. Surprisingly, people are quiet about an organization that has an instru instrument that, allow, that calls for it to go for Congress, has failed to go for Congress, continues to be in office without even going for Congress. They are quiet about it. The problem in Zimbabwe is that there has been a political gamesmanship, manipulation of political opponents, uh, their weaknesses, or even their con their processes to go into Congress. And 
one would not be one would forgive certain people for being um you know for 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 being skeptical for not wanting uh to to put their plan now nelson chamisa uh, when he was dethroned from the mdc alliance you through through the court they all laughed at him and said he has no party he has absolutely no party um he's he's nameless and, and stuff like that he insisted that he was the mdc alliance but then they said no the mdc alliance is not him even when uh, Douglas Monzora's candidates filed their nomination papers at Zek. Zek accepted those papers um, uh, from Douglas Monzora, written MDC Alliance, meaning that they accepted that MDC Alliance was led by Douglas Monzora. Now come in Nelson Chamisa, he says I'm triple C. The same people who are saying Chamisa does not have a political party, the same people who fired Nelson Chamisa from the MDC Alliance. I mean, there's a letter that was written to him that is in the public domain that he was fired begin to say CCC is not a new political party, it's an old party. Which party when you said he had no party? So you'd see with that with this interest, surely someone, would, someone who wants to win state power, because the role of a political party is to win state power and not to win internal you know, power uh, positions. You, 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 can, you can have Congress and, uh, or whatever it is that it can be called, and you win uh, the position of the Treasurer General. Is that what you want to be treasurer general of an opposition party? Or you want to be in government in the state house? So your plans, the plans of uh, the tactics of a political part, party are defined by how it wishes to attain state power. Now, I hear some people saying that uh, without a constitution, there is unfettered power. There is, uh, uh, you know, a political party is not a state. The state has a constitution. Even if you come from a political party, that does not have a constitution. Eh? When you get into state office, you are obliged and you, are, you swear an oath to a constitution. In, in France, the guy who won president does not have a political party. He's an independent. Do you think that he is going to abuse the people of, of France because he didn't have a constitution uh, from his party when he walked into office? I mean, that is pure ridiculousness. The uh, Dara, fact that Dara, thank yeah. you very much. Let me hold you there. Please don't go down. I'll give you another opportunity to speak, but let's bring in uh, one more person before Tawana comes in and responds to some of the.